Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Ms. Magic, back with another hair video. Today I will be showing you how I restored my natural curl pattern back in less than five months without doing a big chop. But before we get started, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming to my little old channel. I hope you will go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and stick around and watch some more of my videos. If you are returning back, welcome back, Magic Superstars. Okay, Superstars, so there were several things that I did over the four and a half months to get my curl pattern back. So I am going to go through each one step by step. Um, but first, the first thing I did in March was give myself an Afro-G treatment. And I had looked at YouTube videos and everybody was saying that, oh my God, I got it back with the Afro-G treatment. I got it back with the Afro-G treatment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna, but, but let's be clear. A protein treatment does definitely help restore your natural curls to come back. Um, I wanna talk first about um, the word heat damage. I do not use the word heat damage because I don't like the word damage. I'm a hairstylist and my hair is not damaged and a lot of clients that come to me who get silk pressed or you know I have their hair has been manipulated and they've lost their curl pattern, um, it their hair is straight on the ends. I simply call it that you your curl pattern has lost its memory, it's lost its way home and it needs to find its way home to get its curl pattern memory back, which can happen. That's why I say the hair is not damaged. Damage is to me a totally different thing by me being a hairstylist. When your hair is damaged, which was over chemically treated or over processed from a relaxer or things like that, that can't be saved. That has to be cut off. That, that, that hair will split, break, do whatever it's going to do to come out unless you cut it out. When you when your hair loses its curl memory pattern, it's not unhealthy. It's not damaged. It just lost its curl memory. Okay, so this video is going to be broken up into three parts. The first part is going to be the um, video of me giving your, myself an Afro G treatment step by step so that if you don't know how to do it, I'll show you how to do it. The second part is going to show you all of the steps, including the protein treatment that I use to restore my curl pattern. And the lastly will be me showing you my natural curl uh, uh, state that I got my curls back. I'm going to show you it wet. I'm going to show you it with conditioner in my hair. And I'm going to show you my hair with completely dry so that you can see that how I restore my natural curls. All right, let's go straight into this Afro G treatment video. Today I am going to be testing out the Afro G um, um, two-step protein treatment. And the reason why I'm doing this is because in the summertime, I like to wear my hair natural. In the wintertime from October to April, I wear my hair in a silk press, I mean a silk press. So, but I lose a lot of my memory curl. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. My curl has lost its memory all in the front. So I would like to see, see I got the curls from my scalp maybe halfway through as you can see. Now the back does not do that. The back keeps most of its curl. The back only loses a little bit. But I want to see today, will there be a difference? Because some people have, half the, uh, the uh, things that I saw on the on YouTube, some say it worked, and then the other half say it doesn't. So this is the thing where I have to see for myself. Okay, superstars. So it, I haven't used this in so long. We used, I used to use this all the time on clients. But okay, direction says just gently cleanse hair with Afro G shampoo for damaged hair. I use my own shampoo. Rinse thoroughly and towel black. Apply enough Afro G treatment to thoroughly saturate the hair. Comb through with a wide tooth comb. Do not use sit under the dryer for I must I'm gonna say 10 to 15 minutes because it doesn't say on here. And um, do not um, put a plastic cap on. The hair is going to get extremely hard. Um, I forgot this is really sticky too, so you'll want to use some gloves. But this is the two-step protein treatment. Is it going to do it? It's not going to focus. There you go. So this is the first part, and we're going to do that. Let me get my wide tube comb. All right, I don't have any gloves, so I'm going to wash with, okay, so 
as you can see, I have all my natural hair here. It's all natural in the back. I don't know if you can see that. I can't really turn the chair around. So let's see if we get even a little curl because one thing that I do know is not gonna happen the first try. I'm gonna do this once a month and for, for uh, four months. So I did not do a Afro G treatment every month. I learned I, with research that you're not supposed to do a Afro G treatment once a month. So I only did it twice. I did it this first time and then I did it a second time in maybe June and only put it on my ends actually. And that'll be what this is, March, April, May, June, July. So we'll be dead in the, in the um, it's liquidy too. So we'll put it all over our head. Dead in the middle of summer. So maybe I'll have my curl back. I don't know. But I know how to fake it till I make it if I don't have my curl back. I can make it look, I can make it do what it do. I can make it look like I got some curls. So generously put it in your head. It says massage it into your scalp. All over. But see, I am giving myself, while I am giving myself protein treatment, I want it for my ends. So we're going to put it on our ends. Like pray, I'm going to do praying hands on the ends. Because that's what I want. That's what I'm concerned about. I got my natural curl everywhere mm -hmm. else. Let me go do it on this side. Okay. Now we're going to take our wide tooth comb before it starts getting hard. And we're going to comb it through. Right to the back. Straight to the back. All right. All right. And set up our dryer and sit under the dryer for 15 minutes. Do not manipulate the hair at this point. Don't touch the hair until you're about to rinse it out because you're, like I said, your hair is going to get extremely hard. Don't use a comb, don't use a brush, don't touch it. Let's go into the dryer, see what it do. Okay. I just touched my hair, but whatever. Guys, so now we're gonna sit under our hooded dryer. Um, it also says that you can use a regular blow dryer, blow dryer if you want to, but you'd have to agitate it all over your head like that. But who's gonna do that for 15 minutes? Who wants to do that for 15 minutes? Okay, so I'm gonna sit under here for 15 minutes. And time starts now. Draw the knob that just came off my blow dryer here. Yeah. All right, guys, we're done. All right, we're done with the 15 minutes. Oh yeah, I'm looking real darn kingish now. So I don't know what it looks like in the back. I won't know till I, till I edit my footage. But you all can see it. It's crunchy. Like I said, I don't have a problem with my curls in the back. That's not the problem. And once I, and this is just the first treatment. So I know I gotta do like four or five treatments of looking at my dog. What you looking at? Anyway, um, so yeah, it's crunchy. I gotta rinse it out now, so. Once we do that, we have to use the Balance Moisturizing Conditioner that uh, came with it. It was a two pack. So it came together like this and it was like $6. And um, I think I can get a, a bunch of treatments out of that because uh, my hair is not real long, so it don't matter. So now I'm about to rinse my hair with um, warm water and then saturate it with this. Let's do that. Okay. Now we're gonna put this in the second step. It says completely saturate your hair with it. Ooh, this smells like a, a 1980s cologne. A man's cologne at that, honey. Okay. All right. We'll see if it say combing through. I didn't check it. It says use on. I can barely see. Use on wet hair to maintain moisture. 
Girl, I can't see this shit. I mean, stuff. Hold on. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. One sec. And then, I'm gonna have to stand up straight so I can read it. Give me a sec. Let me go get my comb one second. I got my comb. I gotta rinse all that other, uh, the, the two step, the protein uh, treatment off of it before I comb it through. While that's rinsing, I'm gonna read what it says. It says, use on wet hair to maintain moisture, detangle and improve manageability. Apply liberally to damp hair after, sham after shampooing. Huh? I'm supposed to use that. Oh, I mean, I, you know what? Because I'm reading the wrong instruction. I'm supposed to be reading the instruction on after the bottle. Okay. Duh. All right, here we go. Leave hair by the blah, 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 Alternative, brush your hair, blah, 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 blah. Pretty dry hair. The hair, is the hair becomes extremely hard. Do not comb or brush hair while after the treatment is dry in the hair. Re-wet hair and gently rinse thoroughly with warm water. Move all excess dry protein. Towel dry, I did that. Okay, here we go. Apply Afro Balancing Moisturizer to hair and scalp. Leave on hair for two minutes, then rinse through. So it's already been in my hair for a minute. So I'm gonna comb, I'm gonna comb this through. I'm reading the wrong instructions now. I'm gonna get y'all, get y'all messed up. Okay, we're gonna comb this through. This uh, balance moisturizing. This is the second step of the Afro G. All right. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna rinse this with uh, lukewarm to cool water. You want to do that to seal your uh, cuticle. That's too hot. That's what you know, tell you. That's too hot, girl. Mm mm. Don't burn my scalp, girl. Okay, rinse it all out. It feels, hmm, it feels rubbery, I would say. At this point, but just make sure you get it all up to you. Make sure uh, your water rinse is clear, no cloudiness. And let's dry this. What I'm gonna do now is dry this with the towel, but I'm gonna put a microfiber towel on my head. Okay, we're going to the bathroom to check it out. Okay, we're gonna change out this towel for a microfiber towel, only because my hair loves microfiber towels, and it shows me my true curl pattern after I've had it on for a couple of minutes. I get these from the dollar store. I always put them all wrong too. They go like this, like a do-rag, and you twist it, pull it to the front. Girl, I always do this wrong. So we're gonna put this on for two minutes. Uh-huh. I can tuck that. Put it on like a do-rag and then bring this to the front. These are from Dollar Tree. If you see my Dollar Tree. Girl, why it's broke? Um, if you see my Dollar Tree haul, you know, it go like this, but this one is broke. So tuck that in there. This uh so we're gonna leave that on for two minutes and come back. Because, like I said, these mic once you put a microfiber towel on your head and let that dry for a little bit, it shows me my true curl pattern. So give me two minutes. Sorry, right, I was eating some cheese, y'all. Okay, let me take this off. I'm gonna manipulate with my hair on my hands, just like I said, you'll be able to see the true. So, I know that back shrunk. Um, well, this was the first treatment, so 
we not gonna trip. Did I think it was gonna work the one time? No, because somebody told me you have to keep doing it, keep doing it, doing it. Um, so I'm gonna do it again next month. Um, at least I gave myself a good protein treatment. As y'all can see, it worked on it worked on that back. Girl, please, that stuff is no. That's gonna be a no. I know it did. I won't know. Look at that. That's afro. I won't know. I don't know why I keep my natural curl pattern in the back. I guess because I manipulate the front of my hair so bad. So I know that back. That back look great on that natural curls. Um, front, you know, we're going to keep working on it. But like I said, if it doesn't work after three months, I'm going to make it do what it do. So peace. I'm going to tell y'all after next month, did this work for me? Um... Or I might do another video. I don't know. I might just come in and say, this is the look or whatever. Or I might save this video and roll it over for three months. I, I'm not sure yet. That's probably what I'll do. I'll just roll it over. So this was treatment number one. Um, as you can see, my natural curl pattern is from here to here. All of this has lost its uh, curl memory pattern. It used to know it. Like I said, this probably won't even air to June. It is March, I swear. So you all will be seeing more natural styles from me. Um, but right now, I'll straighten this stuff out because I'm not gonna wear it like this. I'm not gonna wear it like this, look at this. And then all the back hunched up looking crazy. Hunched up looking crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Hunched up looking crazy. That stuff looking crazy. It's a mess. I have several different things going on here. Not not to mention, I gotta color my hair. But I'm not doing that to April. And it's much. Alright guys, love you. See you. Alright guys, so you saw the video. And no, it was not a one-stop shop. But definitely a protein treatment is definitely needed if you are trying to restore your curls. Um, protein treatments are an essential part of maintaining the health of black hair. They strengthen hair, help prevent breakage, repair damage, and this one is for us, and restore elasticity. That is the main reason why naturals who have lost their uh, curl should use protein treatments because it restores elasticity. All right, so my second step was keeping my hair hydrated. And that basically was deep conditioning my hair once a week and with at least 15 to 20 minutes under the dry with a deep conditioner of your choice. And I was doing, after the deep conditioners, I was doing wash and go. So constantly spritzing my hair with water, keeping my hair wet. And also I was oiling my scalp every day with like a, any type of growth oil. Um, this is one right here, the Blueberry Bliss growth oil. But every, damn near every natural hair product company has a growth oil. So you can experiment. I definitely experimented with different growth oils. And also forget, don't, don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Drink plenty of water. Um, eat plenty of fruits and vegetables and I think that helps too. I'm not going to say it helped with the, the straight pieces on the end but definitely helps with your scalp. And my third step was no heat ma manipulation and what I mean by that was no flat ironing, no curling iron and um, no uh, blow drying, no, no uh, blow drying your hair straight. Um, but you can go into the dryer. That's not going to do anything. And you can um, diffuse your hair lightly with your diffuser in your blow dryer. But just don't blow dry your hair straight while you are trying to restore your natural curls. Okay, so the fourth thing I did was use a cholesterol hair treatment. Cholesterol is different from protein. Um, the One of the definitions it says is when used in cholesterol hair treatment, it is said that cholesterol restores the hair's moisture, adds strength, and gives definition. It also brings back the shine to the hair, especially dry, brittle hair due to all chemical treatments. And I definitely can attain to that because after I did my first cholesterol treatment, um, my hair was super shiny. I loved it. I've only done one in the in the past four and a half months, but I am about to do another one probably in the next couple of days because it really helped. And I really think along with the protein treatment, a cholesterol treatment will help you 
tremendously in getting your curl pattern back. Um, I will uh, uh, tell you, this is the uh, cholesterol that I actually used on my hair. What I did was um, s fully saturate my hair with the cholesterol after I washed it and I put a plastic cap on and sat under the dryer for like 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes and that helps considerably and like I said I don't want to do these treatments so much so I didn't do it I've only done it once I'm gonna do it again though because that stuff does weigh down your hair but it definitely helps seal some bonds in your hair shaft to make your natural curl pattern come back and then the fifth thing which is very important is I clipped my ends twice I clip my hands every six to eight weeks so I clipped them um, after about six weeks after March so that was mid-April and then I clipped them again in um, uh, early July late June early July so that is very important um, I just show you what I kind of do I didn't blow dry my hair I put it in a ponytail and then banded the end so that it would get straight and then I let that dry overnight and then I took it down and in the morning I uh, clipped my ends so I'm just showing you I'm not actually clipping my ends on here but I'm showing you what I did to clip my ends clipping your ends are very important because it gets that uh, split ends off the ends of your hair and I think that really helps to get your natural curl pattern back as well. Alright, so the fifth thing I did and this is very important as well, you must have patience. Not one of these things are going to get your curl pattern back. All of these things put together are going to get your curl pattern back. And then having patience and time is going to get your curl pattern back. It is not going to happen overnight. It may not even happen in the four and a half months like it took me. It may take longer. It may take you shorter. But you must have patience and due diligence with your hair. And you don't have to big chop it. If you want to big chop it, big chop it. I'm going to keep saying that. But if you don't want to big chop it, just have patience and do these steps all right so these are the things that i did do uh, basically that is about it so we can get right into the video of me showing you my popping curls that have come back in four and a half months without a big top so let's get to that video all right superstar so it's time for the big reveal this is five months of um deep conditioning De weekly deep conditioning, oiling my scalp, um, not manipulating, not manipulating, not manipulating my hair with heat, and um, and I did the two um, Afro G protein treatments, and then I did the one cholesterol treatment um, for about an hour. I left it on my hair for about an hour, but then went right back in and deep conditioned it to soften it back up because, like I said, the cholesterol does make your hair kind of hard. So without further ado. This is the big reveal. Oh, and also me clipping my ends twice within the five. Within, I clipped my ends twice within these five months. So, this is it. This is it towel, totally towel dried. Um, it's still damp, but it's towel dried. So, I'm going to do a comparison, a side by side of how it looked when I first came out of my silk press. I had been silk pressing my hair for a year. I didn't wear it natural at all. Um, in 2019, I just wore it silk press. So this is the side by side. And then we're gonna turn around and do the back. This is the back. And like I said, this side is a little still resistant. It's still a little straight, but it's coming back. As you see in the side by side comparison, it is way straighter in that. I Like I said, I've only clipped my ends twice. I have not done any big chop. I still have my left. Matter of fact, it has grown. My hair doesn't grow very fast, so I would say, I don't know, what you think y'all think about an inch? Maybe I, I might, it might have grown about an inch, but because my hair has incredible shrinkage, you know, you can't see it. So, okay, so that's, this is it. It, it can happen. And this is a huge disclaimer, people. Everybody's hair type is different. Everybody has different hair. Just because this worked on me does not mean that this is going to work on you. I am not telling you that if you do this, you will get your natural hair curl pattern back. I'm telling you how I got my natural hair curl pattern back. And maybe you can kind of like, you know, feel, feel, feel within it for yourself. But this is my hair towel dry. This is me fresh out the shower. So I just, when I fresh got out the shower, I wanted to show you because I knew my hair was going to shrink up as soon as I took the uh, microfiber towel out and then um, this is me 
with uh, condition in my hair. So, sorry, y'all got some hair in my eye. Okay, so like I said, you can see my curls are back. They are popping. I don't know what I'm about to do. I think I'm going to do a twist out or a braid out. I don't know. I'm going to do something different. But this is it. I have zero straight pieces. I do have some stringy, still have some stringy pieces in the front that, you know, it's going to take a little bit still, some more treatments. But I'm not going to do any more Afro G. I won't probably do an Afro G treatment again until like December, January. But I might do another cholesterol treatment because um, that seems to help as well. And like I said, it's, it. when I took off that uh, cap the first time, like most people who do the Afro G treatment, you think your hair, your, your curls are gonna just come back right then. No, they do not. They do not come back after one treatment. They do not come back after two treatment. It is a weekly thing. You must be patient. You must be patient. But it won't, you do not have to do a big chop. I truly believe, unless you want to do a big chop, most, a lot of people want to do a big chop, but if you like me and did not want to chop off all my hair, I just was diligent. I just was diligent. Just be patient and keep at it. And this is me later on in the day with an Afro puff. Um, as you see, my I just have a, a little light conditioner in my hair, and um, so it's basically no product. Light conditioner. What else did I put in my hair? Oh, I did. I did just take like a little gel in my Dollar Tree gel and just like did like this so the puff could stay. Because usually if I put a lot of product up here, in my hair, if I want to do a puff, it's going to like weigh down. So I wanted to puff. So yes, this is my natural hair dry, all the way dry in an Afro puff. And as you see, I have all my curls. Um, this is, once again, this is my problem side that, you know, I, this year, this winter, of 2020 and 2021 I'm going to do better I am not going to straighten my hair as much and I am going to stop being lazy and I am going to uh, wake up if I do have a wash and go or I do anything and make sure my hair is dry so that I will not because after looking at that video of me in March I didn't realize that my hair wasn't curly at all it was straight even my new growth was straight. It wasn't as curly as it is now. Now my hair is like crazy thick, uh, crazy curly. And I just thought that, um, as you see in the video, I thought that all of the new growth was my curly hair, but it was, it just wasn't as loose as the ends. So on that note, I am going to do better because I do not want to have to do all the work. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do the same work. The deep conditioning, the the cholesterol. I'll do one, probably just one um, Afro G treatment next year, and we'll just go from there. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. As you see, you can get your natural curl pattern back. Once again, it's just gonna take time, due diligence, and um, just work on your part. And you do not have to do a big chop if you don't want to. Some people want to do big chops. It's not a problem. Do your big chop. But if you don't want to do your big chop, just do these little steps that I've done. It may take you longer. It may take you less time. Um, and then again, on some people, it may not work at all. I'm just telling you once again what I did to get my curl pattern back, and it worked. So thank you guys for watching. Um, go be great. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.